In this video tutorial, we're going to talk about custom field reporting. Custom fields are very popular. You can use them to create web forms. That means your end users or customers can raise tickets through a form that you can post on your site or perhaps through your Happy Fox support center. Custom fields can also be used internally inside a ticket. I'm going to show you that really quick so you have a quick reference. Um, if you look over to the right, there you'll be able to see contact fields and or ticket fields as well. Now reporting on these custom fields is available in our Enterprise and Enterprise Plus plans. Imagine the possibility of being able to quickly dissect the different trends based on the data collected through these custom fields, type of request, etc. So let's go and take a look at it. I'm going to open the admin menu and I'm going to select report all the way on the first column. As soon as I get into the new reporting menu, I'm going to pick custom fields. Once I get to this screen, if you notice to the top right corner, I have a few filters that are very important. I get to select what custom fields I want to report against. I get to select categories, and more importantly, the date range. Reporting in Happy Fox is real time, which means that if you run the report including today's date and a ticket was created two seconds ago, you'll see data related to this ticket right away. So again, from the custom field report, that is it. It's as simple as just going through your list of custom fields and selecting what, selecting what you might like to see on the reports. Distribution across time, for instance, would allow me then to select from the fields that I have already, already selected, uh, create a visualization uh, frequency across time. So for this demo purpose, I'm going to pick product use as one of my custom fields. And then I'm going to switch over to a month or a monthly dissection. So in here, I basically get to see the volumes of tickets that I received where those custom fields were active, right? So I've collected data through those custom fields. Every single one of them, you will be able to visualize through this page. Also, if you have fields with a lot of values, notice that every single one of those visualizations, you'll be able to adjust, right? So you're not stuck with one simple representation. If you have a large data set, you could instantly, sorry, move into a table representation, which might be a little more intuitive. So the point that I'm trying to convey is that you will have the flexibility to adapt the visualization based on the data type that you're trying to report against. And I'm going to quickly again show you, here is uh, product use. These are all values through my demo account. You'll have something different, but the point is, you do not longer need to export your data into Excel and spend an hour creating pivot tables and it's prompt to human error when you can very easily go into your custom fields report, select the appropriate fields, and then see the visualizations that shows the trends for all the tickets you've collected through the date range selected. Thanks again for watching.